Welcome to Mr. Gibbs Tumblers. Today we're going to be working with pink. Do you love pink? We're going to use pigment powder, alcohol inks, and of course glitter. Prep your cup by sanding it a light sand and then use the 91% alcohol uh, to rub off all oils. This is going to be the final product. Use painter tape to make a nice swirl on your cup. Add just randomly the pigment powder to epoxy, both pinks that I showed in the beginning, just anywhere you want. It's just to cover the black of the cup. I'm adding some clear epoxy just to give some coverage. Make sure I got all the black of the cup covered. To smooth the epoxy, I do a tap tap method just so I'm not rubbing all the colors together at first to make sure I get the different colors to stay. So I'm doing a tap tap method. I'm brushing it side to side to try to get the black of the cup not to show. Now come in with the alcohol inks and drop anywhere you like. There's no rhyme or reason. Just drop them everywhere, wherever your eye thinks it needs to go. I cut the spout a little too much. That's why it's really pouring out, if you're wondering why there's a difference. Now I'm gonna come back in with a white alcohol ink and just put it on top of the pink.
I don't like the straightness of those lines. You can tell how it's turning, so I'm just doing a little bit of dabbing to try to get some movement with the white and the colors. Now time to pop those bubbles. If you get close enough to the cup, it will start moving around, so be careful with how close you get to the cup. Before we let it spin for six to 12 hours, I'm gonna take off this painter's tape, because if not, it'll be forever there. Use the turner for your vantage, turn it on, let the turner do the work for you. Here's what the cup looks like before it turns for six to 12 hours. It should not go on that black stripe. I had it turning for six hours. Now I put painter's tape on to protect the part that I've already done. And I'm gonna put epoxy where the stripe is so I can get some glitter there. I start with a finer, more finer glitter and the chunkier glitter on the top. I'm just needing more coverage to get rid of the black cup. This is a star glitter that I found at Hobby Lobby and I fell in love with. Coming back in with extra fine glitter just to get rid of the blackness of the cup that I see. Pat down the glitter so it's easier to cover with the epoxy when this dries. Pat, pat, pat.
I tell you how much I love this star glitter? Yep, gotta do more of it. Just like before, we gotta take off that painter's tape. Sometimes this is hard to do with gloves on. I'm gonna attempt with just a bare hand. Failed the attempt. Wait for it to come back around again. You're right, I could turn it off. Oh, got it up a little bit. Alright, here we go. I just tried from the other end. And turn it off because I need to go the other direction. left with a blackness around both sides of the stripe so I'm coming in with a pearl, pearl uh, epoxy and I'm putting on both sides of the stripe to try to get rid of that blackness that I see in the cup this is my preference Now I'm going to attempt to move the white away from the glitter because I don't want it on the glitter. So trying to get the epoxy warm so it'll start to spread with the blow dryer. So I decided I didn't really like that look. So I'm gonna come back in and whitewash the whole cup. So this is clear epoxy going on right now. And then I will put some more white epoxy. Put way too much on it so you will see a lot of epoxy coming off this cup. The 
this is just a pearl white pigment powder epoxy that I'm just randomly putting everything to get that white wash look on top of my marble. Blow dry the bubbles out and also try to get movement of this white. I need full coverage, so I'm doing my swish back and forth method to try to get a full coverage. But take off the excess epoxy on the glitter. We don't want white on that. put way too much epoxy on this cup. Look at it running off my finger. Way too much epoxy. I do not recommend this much epoxy on here. I have recovered from my mess, now I'm trying just to smooth it out. You see the whitewash is there. Make sure you get it off the glitter every time you can. We don't want the white on that glitter. Let turn for four hours, so you come back in and put another layer of epoxy. Come back in and put some more epoxy on it to try to seal that glitter. You might have to do two or three rounds of waiting four hours, put more epoxy depending on how thick that line of glitter is. Smooth out the epoxy. We want an even layer. Look at the reflection in the light, the gaps in the light to see if it is totally smooth. This will save you another layer of epoxy. So I'm just rubbing it all. Blow dry the cup, get out all the bubbles, you gotta pop those bubbles, and it helps move around the epoxy for to get it to smooth a smooth layer.
Here's some shots that I took outside of it. It really turned out pretty. I'm going to rotate it for you to show you what it looks like. You still can see the black, but I really like it. Thanks for watching. If you like it, like and subscribe. Thanks so much.